Greetings and welcome to my humble abode. I ask that you join me on my kitchen floor here where I play with all my favorite things. I was asked by my local comic shop, Comics North and Hidden Level Games in Sudbury, Ontario to do a quick video review of the BCW comic book bin just to give comic collectors a little look at some alternative storage options for uh, their prized possessions. So it promises to be a heavy duty acid free stackable comic book bin. It comes flat packed in this box I have here and on the back it has a quick list of the features promising to offer moving parti partitions to prevent comics from falling over, snaps together design, holds approximately 150 comics, identification card slot for index card or card holder, and lid panels featuring sliding locks. Uh, when you open up the box, it does not come with instructions. You go to the website, which is www.bcwsupplies.com slash cbb, and they have a little video showing you how to put it together. Once you crack into this box, it comes uh, with six pieces. It comes with the comic partition, which has little tab slots, which we'll show you later how it works. The bottom of the box. Two sides which have the lids attached and the BCW logo stamped on the side. And the end panels which feature the index card slot as well as a durable handle which functions quite well and uh, doesn't seem like it'll break on you when you're lugging these things around with 150 comics in there. So, this is the beautiful BCW comic bin. This is your run-of-the-mill short box for storing comics. Um, you'll see the bin slightly taller but it's also durable and stackable. Features little nubs on the top so when you stack them up they're not going to slide off each other. And unlike your run-of-the-mill short box uh, it's not susceptible to cats scratching it apart or water stains. Um, Although it's not watertight, so don't go throwing it in your bathtub or anything. Um, but, you know, it's going to offer you a safer home for, for your comic books. When you open it up, and you'll see on top here, there's uh, sliding locks, which one slid prevents the lid from opening. But when you slide them away, you open up the box and you see you have a nice glossy black plastic safe home for your comics. And... Uh, if it's a box that you're not filling up all the way, it comes with a partition uh, which has one, two, three, four different slots it can slot into uh, preventing the comics from falling forward or back or say dividing certain series you may have. Um, but it only has four slots down the thing so it's not fully adjustable, it just gives a little wall every so far down the box. Now, just so you can see the stacking feature and how it works, I've got two put together already. It sits right on top there and I can give it a good shake and it's not going to go anywhere. And once this is full of comics with the weight, it's not going anywhere, which is very nice to see. And putting a lot of my body weight on top does not affect it at all. So you know it's going to hold up to the weight of several stacks. Um, Unlock the second box here just to show comics inside. Inside I've got uh, 130 bagged and boarded comics with a little bit of room so they're not lying when it's, they say it'll fit up to 150 comics and that does mean bagged and boarded which is nice. Uh, my regular short boxes you'll see are a little shorter offering a little less storage space they fit about 130 to 140 bagged and boarded boxes. So you're actually getting a little more storage space than your, your run-of-the-mill short box. Um, now you're, if you're in the United States of America, you can order these directly online through bcwsupplies.com. Uh, but if you're like me and you live north of the border, you're going to want to order them through your local comic shop. Otherwise you'll uh, be gouged heavily on shipping at no one's real fault. Um, so just call up your local comic shop and ask them if they're able to get these in and hopefully they can. Um, one note is that although they are animal 
safe against animal claws, animal fur is drawn directly to them via static electricity. So that may be something to note if you have pets. May get on your nerves, I don't know. Either way, <laughs> I think they're a pretty solid product. So you know what? Maybe pick one up, give them a chance, and uh, see how they do storing your prized possessions. Thanks very much for listening, guys. I hope it was helpful, and I hope uh, if you're uh, looking to get your hands on these, you're able to do so.